The live commentary may not abide to this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings, gamer girls. I am Sal Steen, also as Conflicts, and I welcome back to more Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. In the last episode, we completed the fourth dungeon in the Dark World, and in this episode, we are going to. I actually find it kind of amazing that we're almost done with Mother 2, yet we're not. I don't know. Whoa! I don't. Yeah, we're like only three quarters of the way through through this game. Now, this is something that I showed a long time ago. But if you go over here, and then this house, if my lost partner returns, we can temper your sore. But now I can't do anything for you. Well, um. We saw talking about his lost partner. Let me show you what you're supposed to do. First off, you have to go to Dark World, and now that we have the uh, Titan's Mitt, we can uh, lift these up a lot easier. Well, I mean, we can get to the Dark World easier. We don't have to, we don't have to go like around. Head over here. We can uh, see this uh, area from over here. There's nothing in here. First, uh, let's try uh, pounding in these pegs because I think we can uh, get something out of this if we pound them all in. Yeah, once you pound them all in, you can go down here. And you can get a piece of heart. And I keep forget I keep forgetting I can use the hammer on the skulls. So what are you supposed to do? Well, um it's actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is just go down here, and you remember that frog that we that we saw over here? Well, now we can free him by getting rid of these black skulls. Your body did not change. Are you are not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. I wonder what my partner is doing without me. I have a request of you. Please take me to my partner. Please, please. All right, this guy's gonna follow us. Alright, uh, now let's use the magic mirror. Oh, happy days are here again. You found my partner. We are very happy now. Drop by here again. At that time, we'll temper your sword perfectly. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, um, you just leave the building and come back. And talk to them. I want to te you to temper my sword. Sword temper will be 10 rupees. 10 rupees just for that. We'll have to keep your sword for a while. So now we are swordless. <laughs> Well, um, I think if you, uh, just let cut us, uh, leave the screen and come back. Your Sarah Ord is tempered up. Now hold it! 
Great, you're sort of stronger. You can feel the sheer power flow all through your body. Yes. Our sword. Now actually has a, a lower pitched uh, sound effect. But now we our sword does more damage. But I think if we head back to the dark world... And we go up here. Yeah, now that those guys are gone, we have this. Because the key is locked inside this chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. So, in the dark world, this chest will be here once you've uh, got your sword tempered. Actually, I think it's just when you uh, bring, bring uh, the partner back. Well, what do we do with this chest? Um, well... So I'm gonna take it down here and uh, let's return to the light world right here. Uh, be careful not to uh, hit A uh, while you're um, while you're um, while you have this with you because that'll actually drop. They'll actually drop it if you do that. Uh, maybe there's a maybe there is a dude around these parts that can help us open this chest and that dude happens to be this dude I heard that you I heard that you know I used to be a thief right well I'll open this chest for you will you, will you keep it a secret from everyone uh yeah there's totally not one soldier and two crows eyeing us right now promise not to tell and for that <laughs> Inside the magic bo inside the chest was another bottle. So now we have four bottles. We now have four bottles and all four in the game. So that's pretty cool. And he's not even mad that we took his sign. Oh, what do we got here? Alright, um... It's also, uh, this area up here, which I don't think I've ever gone to. But just like, uh, but the sword beams still only do uh, the same amount of damage as the level 1 sword. I don't know if I've done this yet, have I? Oh, nope, I haven't done it yet. We got another piece of heart right here. I'm not trying to think of other things we haven't done we can do now that we have the Titans met. But I don't think there is anything. Well, I guess I get, well, I guess I can tell you that if you guys uh, still haven't uh, gotten the magic cape yet, you can uh, get it here. Uh, if you haven't still haven't gotten the magic cape yet, you can now lift up these rocks and you can. Uh, Get it there. What? Um. I can't really think of anything else we can. Well, actually, um. 
Let's actually head up a uh, Death Mountain. See if I think there's something we can get there that we haven't gotten yet. I'm not really sure though. And also, you still cannot uh, take kill these guys no matter how hard you try, unfortunately. Actually, I think we can do something here now. Oh, it's fairy there. <laughs> Actually, apparently we could have gotten done it a long time ago. And I just never I just never thought about it. What do we got in here? There's a chest up there, and I bet it contains a heart piece. Fortunately, we do not seem to have the means of getting, the, getting there yet. I guess we did have something we could do here, because uh, couldn't get here before. If we jump down here? No. Let's try this. Okay. It must be here. Yeah. Oh gosh, what's gonna be right, what's gonna be wrong? Which did we choose? Oh, I guess they both did the same thing regardless. <sighs> I honestly don't know how you're supposed to get that piece of heart. Actually, wait, I mean that chest, not because of heart. Could be a number of things that are in that chest. Let's try that. Oh, there's a shop here. Alright, not sure what significance that holds. about here.
Wait a minute. I think we've been here before. Yeah, now we're up here now. Where did this one take you to? Oh, wait, we just went through here. No, there are no crack walls in here either. And I can see one on the other side of the wall. Um, let's try jumping down here and see where it takes us. Oh, it takes us back here, okay. Got some hearts. Got ten arrows and bombs. All right. I'm not sure how you were how you were supposed to hit that, but. Yes, it worked. How were you supposed to hit that? Oh, wait, you can throw the boomerang over, though, so I guess you could have gotten it regardless. Let's see. Is that really all that's in here? Just money? Yep, all that's in here. That was so worth it. Well, guys, I officially don't know how to get that chest. I guess we could go up and look for another way down. Oh wait, there's another piece of heart over there. You get that as a mystery to me. Alright, this is actually um, the entrance to level 7, but I'm not going to go to it yet. I'm gonna throw the black stones at this guy, and yet it still doesn't kill him. Since I don't really know how to get to that place, nor do I know how to get that piece of heart up there, and can I stop freaking getting hit by these guys? Uh, I'm thinking maybe we should just, we'll just stop the video. I had, uh, I had fun during this episode. Okay, um, I think next time on Legend of Zelda, I'll link to the past, we're gonna... Jeez, dude, kill them! There. Next time on Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, we are going to head to level 5. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, remember to smile. You were the face of Cold Black Sand in the 9 game. Goodbye.